All right, I was shopping on uh, Amazon the other day and I ran across a couple antennas and I couldn't, uh, I'm a sucker for these things and I needed to, I need to buy every one I see. <laughs> uh, so uh, they are little stubby antennas. Okay, I'll take one out of the package here. So little SMA stubbies. That one's kind of stout. And they come two to the package. <laughs> I don't know why you need two, but you get two of these, you get two of these. So these are even smaller. So look at, look at that little guy there. Yeah, these guys are, these guys are tiny. Where's my ruler? Um, let's see, this guy is 40 millimeters. And this guy is 50 millimeters, 40, 48 millimeters. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, uh, you know, how bad are these? You could do better just by putting a 50 ohm resistor probably in these things. Uh, I don't know exactly how well they transmit, but <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to put them on a, a VNA. Now, I like using the Nano VNA to test out uh, uh, rubber ducts because it's basically what, how you use the device, right? You're, you're, you're holding the instrument, you're, you're, you're grounding it through the metal. It, it's just like... It's just like holding your your radio, so uh, let's 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 test out the big, the big fat one here. Yes, I've calibrated. Everybody screams, like, "Did you calibrate?" Yes, I always calibrate. And all right, so let's see how this one does. Um, so we're getting some dips over here. All right, so we're getting a dip right around the one marker there. I've got a couple markers. Oh, 440. So this one would actually work. Uh, I, I know that camera is going to be terrible for these things. Let's see here. Can I, can I, oh, whoa, <laughs> throw it across the room. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold it here just so you, you can kind of see it, that there is a, there is a dip there. And if I hold it vertically, it, it moves, of course. So the one marker is 440 megahertz. So this would be an okay antenna to use on a 70 centimeter handband. Uh, pretty nice. Now, will it will will it be any better than an isotropic radiator? No, <laughs> no, it's just a point source. <laughs> but you know, if you want something small, it's going to be what it is. Might be okay for small distances and stuff. So. And no, you can't really, it's hard to test those things. So don't ask me to test them because it's just too hard. I will not do it. Uh, and this one here is, uh, believe it or not, electrically longer. So it's, it resonates at a shorter frequency. So this one, the little one, guy here, he's resonating around 416, 416 megahertz. So the other one was good. This one's way short. So I, I don't know what... I don't know what radios are at 416 megahertz. Raise your hand if you know. Maybe that might be a Chinese frequency or something. But uh, yeah, these little guys aren't going to do you much good at all. So these are the uh, these are the Bing Fu uh, antenna connectivity. So oh yeah, here's part number for this one. Uh, yeah, it says 400 to 470. No, it's 416. <laughs> Uh, it does never get to those other frequencies. So anyway, that's what that's what this one is. And then the other one, I'll, I don't know offhand. I'll try to put a link in the description of, of this one that actually does do something. It has the markings on the on the little end here. It says UHF 400 to 480. So they both have the kind of the same the same generic markings, but uh, they will resonate at different places as manufactured. Um, so yeah, I kind of like, uh, I kind of like this one. There you go.